So first thing we're going to look at is we're going to break off point. We're going to go point by point and do some analysis here. We're going to start with a positive on this one, though. So that's good. Okay. Okay. Shh. Watch the points. Here we go. So I chose this point. Like to me, this is a great jumping off for start of a match. Playing a ton of balls through the middle with depth. Okay. Excellent finish at the net. Let's go through with this a little sooner, though. Let's look at Lindsay. Lindsay gets a couple balls that are really short in here. This is the ball. This ball needs to be hit bigger, out of your legs faster. Lindsay, where are you? Right there. Okay. I was looking for you in black, sorry. Okay. So we just got to get more aggressive with this ball because you're going to get another short ball. Hit it bigger. Hit it with more depth. That ball lands too short. But I really like the beginning point just because you guys are playing so much through the middle, which is really key. Um, all right, let's go to the next point. Way to finish at net. We want to have the mentality if we're making the, the mistake when we're up at net, we're, we're at least developing tennis the right way. Okay, next point. Okay, so I want to get. I want to talk about what's going on here. She's why? What's the the mistakes always happen for a reason? So Lindsay needs. Let's look at the split step. So Lindsay, we've got to get you consistently split stepping, because look, she's a, she's about to hit this ball, and you're just moving. You're still side shuffling. So what should have happened is you should have hit this court. Look how fast you're moving. Okay, look at that. That's a side shuffle footwork pattern right there. Okay, so let's make sure we're clear on this. When I go out to hit a return, my first step is across, and then I push out into that shuffle. Okay, so what you want to recognize, because this gets asked a lot, is after I hit a shot, do I side shuffle or do I cross step? If you're far enough away where you've got some distance to cover like she did right there, it's always going to be a cross step. Here's why. Let's look how closer I am to the left, to that court one after I side shuffle. Am I any closer to getting to the court? No. no. I've made zero progress. So by doing that, you take an explosive first step to get to recover towards the middle, okay? So she's gotta be a lot faster getting back to this. Not necessarily the middle of the court, right? It's angle of, there, there's a reflective angle there that, that we've gotta be conscious about recovering to, but she's gotta be a lot faster. And then right before Amber goes to hit, She's got to have both feet in the air coming in that split step. She's going to get to so many balls quicker if she can do that. Um, I kind of wanted to say, uh, Anne-Marie, overall, serves looking better. Your jump doesn't look like a jump. It looks like it's coordinated part of a throw, and you're just getting off the ground. So good job. But let's take right here is where Lindsay should have been, number one, a little closer to the middle. And then she should have been in the air, just getting in the air right now and coming down right now. But she's slow. She, she's going to be a split second slow to really be able to get around this ball. And now she's jammed. You can see the racket moves into her body, pulls across, thin hit. Okay. And she doesn't know what's going on. Okay. All right. Let's look at 1753. Okay, here we go, next one. Okay, so let's take a couple of things. I wanna talk a little bit, Anne-Marie, about the technique of your backhand. So let's go through this and look. Okay, so number one, this would generally probably be a forehand, but it's a 50-50 ball. So what I want you to see is when you hit this, this is not an easy shot, but you need to coil that just a little more footwork to get away from the ball because 
you end up having to pull across the ball and hooking the ball and it stays in, thank goodness, but there's not enough space for you to go from inside to out. So the distance away from the ball, the footwork has to be so much, here's where the, where really you can see it. She hasn't hit the ball yet right here. She's gonna pull right across and it's gonna hook it. Had she been able to just come here and track out, she would have been fine, hit through the middle of the court, hit the ball a lot deeper. But because she's a little close, she ends up having to do this. And this is where all the footwork adjustments matter. Okay? Then let's talk, Lindsay, this approach. It's got to do more. Like, that's the big thing. You're getting tons of balls in play. Now we got to get you to do some damage. And let's talk real quick about kind of where we might go with this ball. This ball, you're pretty close to the sideline. I'm going to take it up the line most of the time because I can at least get in front of the ball because really – Anne Marie could easily hit a two-handed backhand up the line here, okay? She could hit a one-handed backhand up the line. She was nice and kind of went right at you, okay? But, you know, she got the ball low, so that was good for her. Let's go to 1920. Okay, good play. Finish it net. Let's just talk about kind of what we just want to start to know why do the points go this way? Okay, let's look at Anne Marie. This is once again, this to me should be a forehand probably. I like that you're one of the few players that doesn't run around their forehand, their backhand, you run around your forehand, but that's okay. So we just want to make sure you do a little bit more with that approach. But here it is once again, look at the spacing. So let's look, let's look and see if Lindsay splits. She hits the serve, she shuffles, she doesn't split. So now she's a little slow off the mark there. Now it's too close to her. She's going to pull in and across, thin contact. Now Anne Marie can approach, decent approach. We got it down low, so it ended up being a good little half volley. But just want to keep reiterating, you know, we find we typically find ourselves in similar positions in point after point, and we got to know, make sure we understand why. Okay, here we go. Okay, let's go to this. Sorry, we'll let this play through. Like, I mean, overall, you guys had a lot of good rallies through, like, the middle of the court, which is good. I want to talk about this air right here. Sorry, Lindsay. Just want you guys to understand, if you are too close to the ball, you will open your face up more. You're more likely when you pull in, you'll turn under a little bit. And that's kind of what this air is of going long right here. So too close to the ball, we're going to tend to open up the face, Okay. Um, let's see, 41, sorry. Okay, just more footwork, it's too, too short, short. Okay, this is what we wanna see on that short ball. Okay, she's got the short ball, she's being aggressive. Okay, we can obviously all of us can keep working on the technical side. Okay, but as you're going through it, you got to be hitting the right shot. It's a safe shot hit to a big target, so that's really good. Nice job, Anne Marie. All right, let's go to. that awesome depth from Lindsay great depth again from Lindsay okay there it is again okay good response from Anne Marie so that's fine okay this is like overall a good point just look at the depth and look what Anne Marie was able to do right here. Here's where Anne Marie was able to take a deep ball and really get the depth that she needs. And then we're going to say, okay, fine. Lindsay, Lindsay hit the ball short, but she wasn't hitting the sh ball short for no reason. Anne Marie hit a good shot. So great depth on that, especially from you. Like you're going to win that point more often than not, Lindsay, when you hit three balls in a row that deep. So good job. Okay. That's good for right now. We'll do one more of these.